back everybody so we've made a lot of progress from a couple of days ago when we made our last video just been uh, working really hard to prepare this space uh, for planting and today's the day for that we do have a storm coming so i apologize if there's a windy noise in the background but uh, we are planting right now sunflower you can check it out right here and uh, in between the sunflower is going tobacco so we're gonna work on the perimeter right now i did bring the corn um, additional beans these beans are doing okay but they're not um they're not looking too healthy and uh there was a uh, i made a mistake when i watered them uh right before we planted they kind of fell over so we're gonna try some beans again it's not too late to plant more beans it does suck when those things happen but they do happen from time to time if you're not careful and i wasn't careful so um the trellises are up the beans are uh in the ground there's several uh, sunflowers that are in the ground right now some tobacco is in the ground and uh, the next thing will be the uh and uh, more beans and uh, the squash. There's a few squash that are in here, and then we're ready to go. We just hope for lots of rain at the early stages. And if not, we do have the hose over there. So um, lots happening. Thank you for joining me again, Big Witch. Welcome back, everybody. Um, we are at the point we are uh, planting our corn. Sort of like good timing because we're expecting some rain and really don't want the ground to dry out too much um, give these uh give these guys a chance so this is blue corn it uh comes from oneida i've been growing this corn for about four years now and i've probably given away i don't know thousands tens of thousands of these seeds but i started out literally with a handful about this size and um, i remember i don't even remember who it was after a conference i was teaching or uh, um, a lecture I gave or something, some event, a woman came up to me and she says, you got to grow these corn. And I, I was like, looked at them, wow, I really want to do that. So corn's pretty simple. You know, you don't want to start it from seedlings. Uh, I've tried, it doesn't work very well. You, some people are successful at it, but I've never been. Um, so it's really good to just go in the, in the ground. And what's the date today? The 25th, May 25th. So. Um, you know, we're here in Sault Ste. Marie. I've been told that this is early actually for Sault Ste. Marie. We want to put about uh, a foot or a foot and a half of spacing in between these uh, corn because you've got to imagine their leaves are going to um, grow out and this corn will grow to be about six to eight feet tall. Um, corn's really interesting because once it gets to a certain height, it starts to retract because the energy starts going to the top rather than to the growth. So I love growing corn, it's a uh, passion. This space we called it a corn spiral, and um, I'm gonna put a seed uh, in each of these troughs which we made over the last couple of days, getting the soil prepared um, about a foot, a foot and a half and a part uh, apart. And it's not uh, it's not a science, so um, uh, making a little indentation with the corn, uh, with the soil, sorry, because that's gonna allow once the um, stalk starts to grow to bring in the soil around the stalk. Corn has a pretty shallow root base, so I won't go much lower than the cardboard. In fact, you probably won't even hit the cardboard. That's how shallow the root base is. But it sort of expands out and uh, it, it's quite a beautiful um, root system. It almost looks like a, a broom, but that's what we have to look forward to. I expect that um, these seeds will start to show in the next three or four days here so it is supposed to get cool but these seeds will be nice and warm inside the soil uh, as long as it doesn't freeze and as long as the shoots haven't uh, emerged yet we should be okay um, but after that it looks like it's gonna be warm we're gonna get uh, it's gonna be pretty dry actually it's been pretty dry weather so we fortunately have that water over there we'll, we'll use and uh, you know, there's really no science to this planting. Um, it would be nice to have a little bit more organic material, but since this is the first year for this space, we'll have to uh, incorporate that over time. Uh, we will be putting straw in between here, and once these get to a certain height, we'll, we'll surround these with straw. So, I don't know, it's one of my favorite things to do, planting corn, it's peaceful, and uh, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just like, these seeds I've taken care of now for several years and 
to think I was only given a small handful and, and now I've given away tens of thousands. Uh, it's, uh, I just hope that people are enjoying the results and eating the, the, the corn in secret. So, miigwech. Thank you.